Hey Secondary 2 Math Prodigies, this is Coach Saifu with your daily dose of math mastery. And yesterday I gave you a question which seemed difficult, but it's actually superbly easy. And I think you would have probably gotten it right. Okay, so the question is, or well, the question was, sorry. Uh, find the value of n and find the distance between them on the map. The answers are, okay, I'm just going to mentally do this. Wow, I'm going to mentally do this. <laughs> n is equal to 20,000. 20,000. Oops, a zero looks like a hat. <laughs> and the distance between them is actually 14 cm. If you got it right, you know what I'm going to do. Raise your hands in front of the computer. I'm going to give you a high five. You are a math prodigy. Good job. Okay, so how do we do this question? It's actually pretty simple. Okay, the map is drawn to scale 1 is to n. Okay, that's the first information you're given. Now, two places P and Q are 7.5 cm on the map. The actual distance between P and Q is actually 1.5 kilometers. So if you want to find out, 1 to n is, by the way, is basically saying how many cm is to how many kilometers, okay? So all you have to do is find out how do we make it simplified so that it's such that it equals to cm to kilometers. So in this case, it's 7.5 cm equals to 1.5 kilometers. I'm going to write the unit in for you, okay? And all you have to do is divide this by 7.5. So it becomes 1 cm is to 1.5 kilometers divided by... 7.5 what? Cm. So this is the important part. So um, 1 Cm is equals to, uh, oh, sorry, this is Cm on the map, I just realized. Cm on top here in on the map is Cm here on the real world, in the real world. So 1.5 kilometers is actually equals to 1,000, how many? 500 meters over 7.5 Cm. Slowly do it step by step, huh? don't rush it, okay? And then after that, you find out that 1 Cm is actually equals to 1500 and another two more zeros for cm because 100 cm equals to one meter divided by 7.5 and then what you'll find out is the answer is one is equals to is two sorry is two two zero 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 twenty thousand therefore n is equals to twenty thousand so once you know that it becomes very easy okay all you have to do now is to find out the 2.8 kilometers, right? So 2.8 kilometers on the, in the real world actually equals to how many cm? Okay, 2,800 meters, which also equals to how many cm? 2,800 zero plus another two zeros cm. Now all you have to do is divide this on the map, therefore on the map, okay, I'll write on the map, since 1 equals to 20,000 cm. All I have to do is um, distance actually equals to 28,000 1, 2, 1, 2, sorry, 280,000 divided by 20,000. So all you have to do is cancel this. 1, 2, 3 is gone. Sorry, 1, 2, 3, 4 is gone. 1, 2, 3, 4 is gone. 1, 2, 3, 4 is gone. 28 divided by 2 gives you 14. CM and that is the final answer. Okay, like I said before, these questions are very, very simple. Okay, and all you have to do is read the quote of the week. The quote of the week actually says, line by line, the answer is mine. Line by line, the answer is mine. Line by line, the answer is mine. Step by step, line by line, the answer is yours. All it means is you have to read the question. Okay, I'm going to give you the question of the day. The question of the day is quite long. But if you read it line by line, for example, you read, Mr. Rahman bought some apples and oranges. So you imagine that, and for a total of 410, line by line, you understand what this is all about. You understand what the information is giving you, okay? And then when you do your working, make sure you do it step by step. Don't ever skip steps. When you skip steps, as in life, when you skip steps, there are going to be problems. You know, when you skip steps, there is a, there is a bigger chance that you're going to make a mistake if you, if, rather than you don't, don't skip steps. So that's what I recommend to you. Do it line by line and the answer will be yours. Remember that. With that, this is Coach Saifu signing off. You are a math prodigy. Good job.